Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create your own custom route files, which can be useful if you are working on a big and complex application. I'm going to demonstrate that in both Laravel 10 and the new version Laravel 11. In Laravel 10, it was very easy to realize that if we wanted to add a new custom route file, we only needed to open route service provider in the provider's directory, and from here, we could scroll to the bottom and copy paste these lines of code right here. From here, it's very easy to change the name of the file. And of course, we need to add this new file in the routes directory. Let's do that really quickly. And let's create an example route, for example, dashboard. And this is typically going to return a view or point to a controller. But because this is a simple example, I'm just going to return the text admin dashboard. And I also need to import the route facade at the beginning of the file in this way. OK, from here, we can go to our browser and visit the dashboard URL. But let's suppose that we want all of our admin routes to point or have the prefix admin. So we go back to route service provider and we add that in this way, chaining the prefix method. And now from the browser, we no longer have the dashboard URL because it is now admin slash dashboard. But when I started working with Laravel 11, I was a little bit confused because we no longer have a route service provider file in our provider's directory. Instead, the configuration for the routes is now in bootstrap app.php. And these options seemed very limiting to me at the beginning compared to what we had before. So how can we add new custom route files? First of all, you need to ask yourself if you need an API. If so, it might be convenient that you run PHP Artisan install column API before you start, because this is going to install Laravel Santum and it's going to create a new API.php file like we had in Laravel 10. If not, we can leave this option out. And either way, from here, we are going to remove all the name arguments except for commands. And we are going to pass to, with routing, a callback as the first argument. This callback is going to accept an object from the class Illuminate Routing Router. And we are going to use this callback and this router object to configure our routes, of course. And from here, we can have basically what we had before in Laravel 10. Actually, to demonstrate, I'm just going to move really quickly to my Laravel 10 project, copy all these lines, go back to the Laravel 11 project, and paste them here. But rather than using the route facade, I'm going to interact directly with the router object, because I have it here locally. All right, and basically this is going to work as before. If you need an API, leave this routes here. Otherwise, you can delete them, of course, and you can add as many route files as you want. For example, let's say you have a customer sections, so you can add a new customer's route file, et cetera, et cetera. You can do anything that you want. And to demonstrate that this is working, let's go to our routes directory. And from here, let's create, once again, our admin.php file that is going to have a simple dashboard route. That, once again, is going to return the text admin dashboard, let's say, in Laravel 11. So now we can go back to the browser in our Laravel 11 project and visit the URL admin dashboard. And we can see that this is working like before. So in conclusion, if you're working on a very simple project, you can leave the configuration options as is and start developing right away. If you're working on a big complex project and you want to add new custom route files, you can do that as I demonstrated in both Laravel 10 or Laravel 11. So the framework gives you all the simplicity or flexibility that you need to create any application that you want. So the choice is yours.